shut the big door because I don't want the dogs to come out. Let's just wait until they leave. All right, what's up, YouTube? It is me, King J. Back to another video. I know it has been a while, almost. I think it has been a month, a little bit longer than a month. My apologies. I'll get into that later towards the end of the video. As you can tell from the title, this video is going to be on a comparison video between the Nike Flyknit Racer and the Adidas Ultra Boost. Let's get straight into it. God, it's been so long, I forgot how to shoot a video. All right, so first off, I'm gonna go into like the weight difference and the materials and what, what and what not. The Nike Flyknit Racer compared to the Adidas Ultra Boost. Uh, the Ultra Boost is a lot heavier. Um, I believe I was watching Hess Kick's video. I think he said this was 10.6. I don't remember what he said, but I think the weight difference is like five. I don't think he said pounds. I think he said some kilogram. I don't know. There is a difference. This one is heavier than this one. The boost material at the bottom actually is heavier than just this uh, this foam bottom on the bottom of the flat net racer. Don't get me wrong, they're both way more comfortable, but I feel like, my personal opinion, the Ultra Boost is way more comfortable. Now, the Ultra Boost upper is the prime net uh, material, which I feel is way more comfortable than the fly net. It just forms to your feet way better and doesn't get, like, say you try ripping it, it doesn't rip as easy as the fly net. My brother has a pair. Is it thundering right now? He has a hole in the side of his feet from just just from him walking, just rips super easy. He wasn't using that like personal like like performance use. He was just wearing it to school and next thing you know he took one little step too hard and I guess it just ripped a hole in it. Now, the Ultra Boost, like I did mention already, it's prime knit, it's more durable, it's sturdy, it won't rip as easy, but I feel like if you wear these that much, it will eventually like rip. Let's wait till this car leaves. All right, so another difference is the laces. Now, these are the Oreo Racer 2, I think these are the 2.0s, not the 3.0s, 2.0s. Um, they might be 3.0s, I'm not very sure. The laces on these are kind of flat. I do like the round laces better, but these are still nice. These right here, the laces are way, way different from the racers, as you can tell. The aglets on them, of course, different colors. Another difference. Uh, the support on the Adidas Ultra Boost is completely different than the actual racers. To be honest, the racers don't even have any support on the sides. Like, I can... Watch this. Look. Well, I have the... Wow, that I just do that? I have... Look, I can do this the whole time and just, like, mess up the shoe completely. But it, it, it always forms back to your foot. But these... Let me take these out and not be stupid again. You can't do that, you see? How they have these little shields a lot of people cut these off kais omar y'all know him as cool kicks whatever he cut his as well as Hess kicks did a lot of people cut their sides um i do like the way it looks but i don't feel like i can't justify myself for spending 180 dollars on a shoe and then cutting it with scissors i bought it because i like the way it looks and the comfort of it i'm not gonna cut it if i like how the shoe performs already but that's just my opinion i mean if you want to go ahead and cut it go ahead and cut it I'm not judging you at all. The Adidas Ultra Boost does have the torsion system at the bottom as well as a lot of Adidas models. Y'all know this. Don't get me wrong, both shoes, I still love these to death. Um, I don't know. That didn't scare me. But both these shoes do get a lot of wear. I will try and find a link to these. These are very hard to find. These are still sitting in some stores and online for probably around retail, a little bit above retail. So I will try to find a link to that as well. I will leave it down in the description below. Just make sure I go ahead and check that. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and comment down below. My apologies for not returning sooner. Um, I'm very sorry. I've been focusing on state tests. I got exams in a few weeks. Um, so it's, it's kind of stressful. I've been pushing away YouTube, but here watching everybody upload and upload and upload is starting to make me want to upload more. I got people DM me, Snapchatting me, asking me at school, all that. When am I gonna make a video? My brother's pushing me, help me film. And he never helped me film. Like, I mean, he helps me film, don't, don't, don't get that wrong. But he doesn't like helping me film. So this is the first video in a month, so hopefully y'all enjoy. There will be more in this week. I believe I'm shooting one again Friday. Today is, I believe, Wednesday. This should be up tonight by the 8 o'clock. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the on feed towards the end because I will be doing 
the on feet of course difference between those uh, let me know if y'all like these types of videos like comparing two different shoes whether they're the same model different models whatever y'all go ahead and comment down below let me know which two shoes y'all would like to see next i might start a little series who knows depending on the comments make sure i follow all my social media i can't believe i didn't say that already instagram twitter snap snapchat beam whatever it is i will leave the links down in the description below one more thing one more thing i almost forgot king soul merch is on sale right now i believe everything is on sale coach jackets 35 dollars plus shipping uh the t-shirts i believe are on sale for 10 12 dollars i don't know depending on size prices differs because the bigger sizes cost more to make than the smaller sizes hope y'all understand but it still is a reasonable price for what y'all are getting. I believe that's it. It is me, King J. I'm out. We used to roll at the rink. We used to roll at the rink. I used to talk way too much. You used to know everything. You couldn't stand me. I couldn't stand you. You said I'm steady playing. But you steady playing too Your big brother footwork Your place is the juke The rink was the place but in that space and time I was too young for you As you are for me To worry about fruities and truths Till I find out all of the shorties with cooties was cute And realize what booties could do We gon' get it poppin' We gon' get it juke Throw a party And we ain't gotta do shit You can't with your best friend Came up for the weekend Party with your party So tell me what you think And so we gon' have a juke jam We gon' have a juke jam We can have a party Just listening to music Like we used to